I mean, we could try yeah. this just... There you go, that's, that looks a little better. Point it up. Can well, we point I can, this... I can do one. We can just like... We can have a light show. Yeah, we can just put this... Michael, don't move for the next like half hour. <laughs> I right. guess I won't talk about this even a little <laughs> bit then. I don't know. <laughs> I guess put it like right down there in the middle of something. You got a notification. I guess. So this is where we get all the technical stuff on camera. It's just trying to figure out how yeah, to look as the, spooky as possible. How to light the... Here we go. Now there we, all, we go. Now okay. we all look creepy. <laughs> uh, she's still not that well lit. It's great. okay. It's, it's okay. It's like it's the center console okay. is right between all of us. There you go. That works. <laughs> <laughs> This is off to a great start. There we go. Let's let's go with a slightly gentler version of how about that. There we go. Spooky story. That's not too bad. How do you how do you feel about that? All right, all right, cool. All right, so hey guys, Muha's back. Hello, Laura's in the back. So wait, didn't we take the do the last video right before my surgery? Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah. And then because every okay. That a two-week well, recovery some... turned into a month-long recovery because so, I was re-hospitalized twice. So, you don't know this about Muha, but every time he leaves and comes back, something <laughs> horrific has happened to him. <laughs> My life but, is a continuous calamity. Like, we did one review, like, several months ago, and the next time I came, I was like, yeah, I was in Taiwan, I got food poisoning, I got appendicitis, <laughs> I, I survived a hurricane that happened there. <laughs> yeah, it, it took out the power to the hospital at one point. Um, <laughs> I have an adventurous <laughs> life, but not in a good way. So, like, every time I feel bad about myself in my life, I think, well, I know someone who's had it worse. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> I make Michael's life better through my suffering. At least it's good for something. <laughs> oh. uh -huh. All right, but so yeah, this that's... is another movie I'm finally catching up on, because uh, I was like, all right, it's either going to be this or Bad Mom's Christmas, and... I figure since I've seen the first one, I've probably seen the second one. Yeah. Um, you know You're a little out of frame, do you wanna? Because it needs, the camera needs more me. It needs, needs a little more you. It's You're the star, man. It's I, your show. My narcissism. Yeah, and <laughs> she's just like slowly just <laughs> creeping in and out of the darkness. All right. So. Um, You're loving this, aren't you? I am. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Jigsaw. Um, Man, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> have, okay. I mean, so, I'll, I will be fair. The, the ending twist was a good twist. Have you ever but, seen... I thought it was... Like, <laughs> okay. I, have I, you like, ever like, seen any like, of the other right. Jigsaws? Uh, I saw the first one. Okay, uh, then, yeah. Um, <laughs> but and like, then Lauren, you saw one, two... F one, two... Th you didn't see three? No. Okay, so one, two, and five. Yeah, right? yeah. I saw uh, the ones that I saw were usually all, like on you know AMC or you know show TV <laughs> channels like that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so you get like the PG thirteen version. Yeah, yeah. No cursing sometimes. Oh, no much. cursing even. Oh there no. There was much cursing here, honestly. Which no, it was really like... funny because there was. I always find it funny how like I, I was in a uh, I, I went to a haunted house on Halloween. Mm -hmm. Uh, just a little small one, and it was funny because there was this one room I got to in the haunted house where there was like, you know, those plastic dummies they get that are all gory and stuff. And this mm -hmm. dude was like, just the top half of him, and he was suspended from hooks, and he was blindfolded, and his skin was all cut up and bloody, and he was screaming. And then there was like a woman's corpse in the corner with tape over her nipples. <laughs> like, oh no, we can't oh, no. but not nipples. This oh. man's been torn in half. Don't look at the nipples! Like you could be chafing. Oh <laughs> <laughs> So um that's kind of what I was reminded of because there's one point in the movie where he's like, oh you mother and then they, and like, then they stop Captain. Right after you saw a guy get like Julienne, like it just Oh man. Oh so, uh <laughs> Uh, I have, um... Alright, I, I know you're gonna have a spiel. Well, let me just... Because you always have a spiel. I always have a spiel. I uh, talk too so, much. So, Laura, I'm gonna let you go first. Let me, let, hang on, let me just say <laughs> my right. history with the Saw franchise. Okay, Because okay. you, you saw the first one. Yeah. And she saw those ones, some of them on TV. I, I know, have... You have hyped the shit out of this. I have seen... I didn't hype this. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that Saw is, like some pinnacle of filmmaking, but okay. it did pull off some shit that nothing else has. This is gonna be like a human centipede uh, discussion, is A little it? bit, yeah. I've not seen that yet. But, uh, I don't. No, I saw the first one in theaters back when, like, 
Wait, it saw was or just human centipede? Saw. Okay. <laughs> like, no, seriously. Like, I remember seeing the 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 trailer for the original when it was like an uncensored indie movie, and the trailer was like, "How fucked up is that?" Like in those words. Yeah. It was so indie of a trailer that it was just online, like before YouTube. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm old. Um, <laughs> but so so like I did that, and then I saw the second one, and I wondered what was going on, and I read an interview, and they said we have a planned story arc for Saws two through six, and I got really excited, and so I've seen every Saw movie in theaters, some of them on opening night. So hardcore mega fan. I uh, I love this franchise. <laughs> I love this franchise for ex- being exactly what it wants to be, which is Torture stupid porn. and clever at the same time. Very I stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but, like you said, also somewhat clever by the end of it. In the loosest of terms. Yes. Um, yes. It manages to be a stupid okay. horror movie, but at the same time also, like, pull off a weird bigger, like, oh, that was cool how they did that. Like, and granted, it, it was a similar twist to some of the ones earlier, but I think that's also kind of a tribute. Um, but yeah. Well, you would know I haven't seen any. Of it, so let me let me put it this way: what what a six film story arc do you know of that didn't come from a book? Star Wars. No, those are trilogies. Episode and one f- through six, man. No, episode one through three <laughs> is technically a proper trilogy. Episodes four through f- uh, through six weren't even supposed to be a trilogy. Episode four was a standalone. I I'm where that is the first one that popped in my head. Yeah, but <laughs> you're wrong. So. <laughs> You don't get to just later. <laughs> literally just disappear from the conversation. Yeah, just fade out. No, but seriously, like, no other film franchise has done that. Especially a horror franchise. What about Jason or Freddy? I mean, okay, Jason, the Friday the 13th franchise was, like, long running since the 80s. I don't know enough about it and throughout all the movies to be like, oh, hey, this is how it progressed. But... I'm pretty sure they didn't plan out all seven movies from the start. Or did they? Shut up, Michael. Maybe Jason <laughs> X was just their final. Jason, <laughs> I actually just listened to a podcast of people talking about Jason X. Jason X is amazing. I know. I want to see it now. It just <laughs> as, I, oh. at multiple points throughout the movie, uh, throughout the the conversation, they were like, "It's almost as though this movie was written by someone who's never seen the Jason movies." <laughs> Uh, Jason X looks like a porn parody of the Jason oh, movies. Oh, I know. Uh, it's, uh, it's just from what I read. It's Have great. you seen Jason X? It is one of those bad movies. <laughs> like, like when every for some reason, like you know, these these iconic horror characters really need to be taken space. <laughs> So they put Jason in space. There were apparently other concepts wow. bandied around. <laughs> I'm sure there was. But, but, but Jason in space was the thing. But there was like, and there was like also the ideas of uh, God. There was, there was like Jason in snow <laughs> and Jason in the Arctic. Two Both separate would have been things. Way more plausible. No, but that's Jason the thing. Like they just, space. they just had these different ideas for like random. Let's just put Jason in an environment, and they went with space because it was the late '90s and people liked sci-fi. Well, I mean, we all know it all peaked with Leprechaun in space. After that, there was just you couldn't yeah. do any better. So let's, they had let's to be stop fair. Filmmaking in general peaked with the Leprechaun franchise. <laughs> Have you seen Have you seen the Leprechaun in the Hood movie? I saw the rap. <laughs> it's okay, see, he kills a guy by shoving a bong through his chest. He smokes with the guy. He gets high with a dude and then murders him with the bong. And then goes out with the munchies and accidentally gets shut in the fridge by another dude who's just tottering around the kitchen. It is insanely absurd. It is hilarious. <laughs> So anyway, to the movie we actually <laughs> just saw. We just All every right. goddamn time. Uh, so they're entertaining. They, they are. Inside, they're they're so. entertaining tangents at least. They are of that. Okay. All right. So what what did you think of Jigsaw? Uh. <laughs> that should put you on the literal spotlight here. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's a little. It, it was it was it was interesting. I guess. <laughs> I mean, I'm I I only have like a limited amount of seeing the Saw franchise in my my resume, I guess, for this. So, um, I don't know. It just... not. I, I guess I wanted more blood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. surprisingly I not mean, gory for herself. Yeah. yeah. Um, and again, I only saw the first one out of the context. For the, I know the term torture porn came from somewhere. <laughs> it came from Saw, which yeah. I actually find kind of unfair. But, um, but the torture part or the porn part? 
the torture porn idea. Okay. Because it, it's like, yes, a part of it was watching like people in these fucked up situations, but there are movies that came from that. That which, were way worse. Yeah, yeah. And there was no plot or substance attempts. Like, what was that one where uh, Alicia Cuthbert was kidnapped and she's just being tortured by this guy, like, for the whole movie? The whole movie is just her being put through shit. I don't remember. But there were just a bunch of, like, low-rate horror movies that just focused on people suffering instead of, like, an actual mystery or mm. putting uh, using it to put tension of, like, a race against the clock or escaping from something. It was just, no, you're just going to watch someone suffer for a while. And uh, it wasn't. I will say this. I did laugh at this movie way more than I would have if I saw Bad Mom's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, the Saw series has that. a dark yeah, sense of humor. Yeah, yeah like you're, you're people in the back, like, going, "Oh God!" <laughs> <laughs> I still, I still think that was a meta joke when the uh, like they're walking down the hallway and the one cop says, "Like, what? Like, you think? What was it? Um, you think she gets off on this sick shit?" And then it cuts to the dude's uh, leg just wrapped in the wire, about mm -hmm. to get cut off. And I'm like, I'm pretty sure that abrupt cut was meant to be a reflection of the audience. <laughs> like, oh, you get off on this too. Back to the fucking torture. Like, <laughs> she just panned right to the per like to the actor, and you know, have them look at the camera and be like, That's you. "Wink, <laughs> gotcha, <laughs> finger guns." Uh, so, Muha, yes. Try to keep it under an hour. What? But how does this ra rank among the other Saw movies? Oh, I don't really have much to say. I don't believe <laughs> that for a goddamn second. Uh, the only time you see. ever had, like, nothing to say was when we reviewed Exodus. <laughs> no, then, <laughs> no, we had a lot to say about at first Exodus. You, no, you were at the, I remember that before you started going around, you're like, can we just cut this short? I don't want to fucking talk about no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, there, there was that. But I think there was one movie that was just so bad that we just talked for it about, about it for, like, ten minutes. We're like, this is going to be short. This movie just, there was nothing to it. Um, it wasn't Fifty Shades of Black. No. And I know Cop Car was a short review, but that was just because it was a simple film. But, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, so, uh... I have a long history. <laughs> given that... It's hard to say because the original Saw movies were so hit and miss. Because mm -hmm. Saw 5 is by far the worst Saw movie. Mm -hmm. Easily. And, um... Oh, God, I can rank them all in my head right now just thinking about it. I'm sure you could. All right, so it goes five is the worst. Okay. Then I would say either two or seven. Okay. Um, that's kind of a up in the air thing, and then comes then I would say four, and then three, and then one and six. Okay. Because six is definitely the best one. Okay. Which is unfortunate because it came uh, the, since it came after Saw Five. Saw Five was the most popular one and it sucked. Mm. So all the momentum it could have possibly had, like no one wanted to see the next one, and it was the best one. As, of course. Um, That's what to see. But the 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 thing with the originals that dictated their quality was the quality of the mystery, the quality of the twist, and the creativity versus the gratuitousness of the traps. Mm -hmm. And there was a weird balance to that. Mm -hmm. um, this one actually did pretty well in not being too crazy with the traps. The little spiral cutter thing was kind of silly. The blender, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> especially with how with the way the dude died, I was like, oh, some of you feel like dumbass. Oh, this decisions. this movie is full of stupid people dying. It's pretty great. Um, <laughs> like a part where she figures out the puzzle and then she still doesn't follow through with it. Yeah, no, <laughs> like she figures out the thing and then freaks out and that dude when he stabs her with all the syringes, <laughs> it's like you could have just. Pick the one she said. She literally said one thing. You could have taken that one, stabbed her with that one, well before you were dragged in the air suffocating. Well, like, the best like, parts of the movie are, like, whatever, whatever, it doesn't matter what's happening in the floor, it's happening in the background, because, like, the first one opens up with, like, people getting dragged in chains towards, like, the the saws, and just one poor-ass dude who's, like, a narcoleptic or something. Yeah, no, he's just out. He's just, <laughs> just being dragged, like, Rrr. That kind of makes sense, no, well, now it's Well, yeah, now, now that you know everything. Sense. But, but yeah. just at the moment, I was laughing at that. I was, oh, I like, was laughing so hard. Wanna, does someone want to, does someone want to, and, like, up. 
And when she's like being dragged along, she's smacking like, wake up, wake up! And he's just like, Mur. So like, everyone's screaming and panicking is getting pulled. He sees someone's like, going, and then, and then the moment he wakes up, he's like, oh, oh, oh. And, like, and she's like, cut yourself! And then it just goes away. Um, <laughs> so it could have been Xbox Live for all we know. Yeah, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. So... Oh, and hold on, before we get too far, that the, the uh, second biggest laugh, you were laughing just as hard as, as I was. Uh, as, it was when the syringe scene comes up. Yeah. Because the guy gets, there's this one guy who's just there to be an asshole, and he gets so, like, in personal about it, like, Pink, what are we going to fucking inject you with all of them? <laughs> and, and then there's a part where he just grabs her as they're getting pulled to the ceiling, and he's still fucking holding her. <laughs> so he's, he's like, just, pick one, pick one, oh, pick one, and, pick one. And again, he's kind of in the far corner, so like, everyone's being Drag down, you see the back screen. <laughs> the oh man! <laughs> you see her like kicking away from him, like no, no, don't touch me with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, just breathe. Like they're just... chasing each other in the air. It was really funny. I mean, I understand <laughs> just, just that. Just like if Wolverine was chubbier. <laughs> I understand that drunk it's drunk supposed like... to be a tough decision. I want to stab you. Us... <laughs> like it, it, it was like. Yeah, I get that it's a tough decision, but really, you s fucking stupid... You're, you're really gonna be the one to be like, no, no, I don't want to be injected with the antidote to the poison that's in me. No. <laughs> I'm gonna let us all die. It's and like... Uh, and then, like, the one when they got the stupid blender thing going, and then she oh, managed great. to stop the blender. Managed to stop, and he's like, alright, cool. We're good. We're good. We're We're good. I don't need to... I'm not gonna reach for the device, I can stop all this. That's Never literally mind. within arm's reach! Never mind that we can hear the metal straining <laughs> that's holding the, the the thing in place. Like Just, bl just blender man. <laughs> Alright, I, I, I feel like we need to explain a little bit of that, because this is just all out of context, probably sounds insane. It's all in the trailer, it's not like we're giving anything away. It's in the trailer? Yeah, it's in the trailer. I haven't... Okay, watch the trailer and then come back and see this, if you haven't. I didn't see the trailer, I, I yeah. avoid that shit, so it's Fair like, enough. But, um... Because I was, like, looking forward to this. I could tell. <laughs> Let's be honest. Because, like, you didn't even wait, like, a minute when I put the message up last night. I was like, all right, we got to see the Jigsaw, I'm like, Bad Mons Chris, and you're like, Jigsaw! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I love the Saw franchise. Just as, just as a schlocky, shitty horror franchise with terrible acting <laughs> and ham-fisted writing and plotting and really base like it's just a really basically made film with good gore effects and writing that is surprisingly awful yet still manages to pull off interesting plotting sometimes cuz like every saw movie had this weird thing where they uh they they had this cool twist at the end mm -hmm. like the first one had a cool twist yeah this, well, all of them did. I'm not going to count. The first one had a twist. Second one had a twist. But no. Um, but, yeah, all of them had it. And by the end of the fourth one, um, the twist in the fourth one was really cool because you when, you, when they get to the end of the puzzle, they basically come upon the ending of the third movie as it's happening. Oh. So they actually are happening at the same time. How does he have that much, like, well, no, he he has the he set up the traps already, so they all work remotely without him. I, I just imagine this like blooper of him just going, "We're like, all right, Wilson. There's no Wilson here. Oh fuck. Oh, uh, sorry, hold on. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Uh, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Go oh, yeah, that's me. Just hop over to the other desk. Wilson, <laughs> you murdered your daughter. That's not me. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Shit. Sorry. <laughs> You're not you're not the gynecologist, are you're you? Not, you're not you're not Carl? Oh no man, I was just borrowing his car. Shit. Oh shit. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> you talk about Buckethead? Yes, oh, Buckethead! Bucket <laughs> the first dude whose body they recover, it still has the bucket on his head from the first trap. And uh they, he's hung from a bridge for everyone to find. Which is really funny because like it doesn't make sense. Oh, like, that's the thing that doesn't make sense. Well, was he just was he just hung from the bridge and then people notice and they're like, oh my god, why does the one <laughs> jogging girl like suddenly slow down after seeing a, two dozen people going, 
<laughs> and like she finally sits down and is like, what are they looking bad? I bet it's not terrible. Oh my God, it's terrible! Like, <laughs> ah! She's the only one who screams at this corpse hanging from the bridge. Was it just hung there? Like, are I, these people just hanging know. out looking? How long have these people been looking at this body? When did they arrive? Like, what? <laughs> I, I like how this is uh, when you have all the questions about No, but that's my point Like every That's that's what's awesome about shit like this Because it's terrible You do have to interrupt him if way. you want to get a word in it twice well, no, no, I was yeah. just going to say like, Maybe they just fell in love with Buckethead like we did Because I really <laughs> just, want a prequel with Buckethead I want to story Like well, every time Because it, that's so what amazing. they call him throughout the entire movie They never call him by his name oh, It's yeah. just Buckethead no, That's that's great Because they, they, uh, they bring up the first First murder victim multiple times throughout the movie and every time they call him Buckethead so even when they're talking about him in a serious context they're like when I saw Buckethead on the table it's okay. <laughs> like you heard me at points yeah. oh like, yeah we all were <laughs> it was just totally quiet and then just <laughs> Buckethead <laughs> you know what was going through my head and this is like at yeah. what point did the people in front of us leave? Uh, like it was, it was, it was been the reveal that, that like Jigsaw, with spoiler, was still alive. That's when they left. Uh, oh, yeah, because they were like, "I'm done." <laughs> that was their thing. But see, uh, I might have if I wasn't like invested. Yeah, I was like, I gotta see how they how they justify this bullshit because there's no way they don't realize okay. I want, how dead he I was. I want to go back to Bucket it for a second though, because <laughs> please, I, I, <laughs> I say something too. What I was gonna do it. What was going through my head is. Uh, did either of you watch Angry Beavers growing up? Yes. yes. <laughs> I was thinking of the time when Norbert disguised himself as an evil villain to stop his brother from being a superhero, and he had a bucket on his head. Yeah. And every time with when, the little slit, yeah, it was yeah it's the same thing. And every time he'd come in, like, dum, 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 dramatic reverb. <laughs> so every time they bring up Buckethead, Don, 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 Dramatic <laughs> Reaver plays in my head. <laughs> now I have it the theme was song. amazing. Wait, now I have the theme song stuck in my head. For me, whenever I saw Buckethead and they said, like, Buckethead, it sounded like they were going to start reminiscing about, I remember when me and Buckethead, <laughs> we held hands and we walked down, you know, a train track together, discussing our memories together. Like, it just... Buckethead helped me get over the loss of my dead wife. <laughs> the first time. The first time Bucket and I, Buckethead and I went to the state fair, <laughs> we got kettle clawed. I had to put Andrew. it through the little slit in his eyes. <laughs> he took of his bucket just for me. <laughs> it was a tender moment. Uh, are you? Do you? Do you, Are either of you aware of the musician Buckethead? Uh, no. Okay, he was a dude who played the guitar like a madman and wore a white Michael Myers style mask with giant slash hair and a KFC bucket on his head. Why does that sound familiar? Because he was awesome. <laughs> and he was very famous for a little while. He was friends with like Les Claypool and stuff. He was one of those weird dudes. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I had that coming into my head constantly. <laughs> so like, we're all like thinking massively. <laughs> yeah, <different> totally. <laughs> Buckethead is not a good name for someone that you want to take seriously at any point yeah, in a no. film. But at the same time, I feel like it brought us together from three different perspectives. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> all united under the power of Buckethead. I want to see a prequel about Buckethead now. Yeah. <laughs> Let's well, make technically, that a movie. we just did. Technically. <laughs> ah, uh, I see what you did there. Summer. <laughs> so should we fully ruin the twist or not? Ah, uh, yeah, fuck it. This, this movie's on its right. way out. Like, everyone's going to see it's already seen it. So, uh, the... The twist is that the game that you see playing out throughout the film would actually happened ten years ago. So when they do the reveal of, uh, of Jigsaw still being alive... I was like, oh, come on, this dude was autopsied. And then, like, as time went on, I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, because they bring up the fact that he's been dead and autopsied mm. in the movie. And I'm like, wait, so they know that. This can't be that. Might be a timeline thing, because they've done that before. Um, so, I, like, that's when I started trying to guess it and almost did, but they did well with it. They really did a good job of mixing that up to make it seem like something more was going on <laughs> but um basically jigsaw is not still alive jigsaw ran this game a long time ago the guy run uh, uh doing the murders in the current timeline that they're trying to solve uh that guy is the it is buckethead from the first room in the in the game that you Buckethead! <laughs> 
the uh, John, Jigsaw John, took John, mercy no. on him, which is kind of weird. <laughs> Reminiscent about Buckethead already. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jigsaw took mercy on him, trained him in his ways, and then uh, this guy, way after the fact, uses this to get back at the detective who is corrupt and unprofessional and people go free because of him and because of that one of the dudes who got out murdered his wife and so he wants revenge and this is all to bring it together and yeah revenge get that guy yeah so technically it goes against jigsaw's principles which they acknowledge by the end of the movie because he's not trying to continue the game he's just trying to murder this guy yeah but yeah so it does work out you do get to see tobin bell again which is great um, it's just me. I, was the cop in the other movies? Huh? The cop that gets in this, in this movie was he in the other movies? No, okay. but he looks familiar, doesn't he? I, I just know he he looked like a walking sexual harassment lawsuit. <laughs> yeah, no, he was for a couple parts of the movie. Yeah, he was. I was like, yeah. this is screams like, like I need to speak to HR. <laughs> how you doing, sweetheart? Yeah. So were you into the kinky stuff? <laughs> I really thought she was gonna start like licking everything that had blood on it. Uh. <laughs> I really thought that she was gonna really uh, get into she it. She does <laughs> seem like the type. Yeah, she did. She did. Uh, what are you doing? She was weirdly <laughs> obsessed and stuff. But yeah, that 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 was actually the, the way the film was constructed did keep you somewhat on your toes as and, to what's you know, going when I, on. When I wasn't laughing at how dumb some of the yes. things was. Yes, but that's the magic of Saw. It's actually like it's it's a terrible movie with a plot line woven through it that's actually somewhat intriguing. Um uh, Sure. <laughs> I I just don't like this. I just know I like I laughed more than I was expecting. I thought I was gonna be like, oh, this fucking stupid. And I was still thinking, oh, this fucking stupid movie. But at the same time, I was like, all right, well, that was pretty funny. Well, uh, like just like the part when like they're all in like the grain room and like, so I like, all right, you guys can go hilarious. free. And this one guy cuts off his leg pulling up pulling this lever, and he's still like, like, uh, uh. Nope. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> like, uh, you guys still dying? Ah. Uh, Man, this is a bummer. Uh, okay. Uh, nope. Yep. <laughs> like, five or six times he does that, like, uh-uh. Thing before he finally does it. And that's it. how they re- continue the tension. That's how they ratchet up. The, like, it's such useless tension building. <laughs> and it's really just an excuse to have a really goofy-ass fucking track go. <laughs> it's like, you know, there's, like, there's always that one unreliable guy at the office that you just know is kind of there, but you never invite him to any parties because you're like, ah, fucking Carl. <laughs> I feel like he's that guy. Yeah, that dude. Because <laughs> every time you give him any responsibility, he's like, "Well, I don't know. Uh, is that dude, really hard?" When he, <laughs> when he wakes up and sees that other dude's cut up body. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's a point in the movie where literally all he does is just he just starts screaming and stuff. But <laughs> he's. <laughs> so he's such a bad character. But that's kind of the point of a lot of the Saw movies, like. The first movie you well, were hold definitely. On. Buckethead's a great character. We can never forget Buckethead. We can't forget Buckethead, and we won't. <laughs> never um, forget. The, like, the first movie definitely had you rooting for the victims. <laughs> we should make like a post t shirt of just Buckethead with like the American flag yeah. waving behind him saying, never forget. That's, that's violating the flag code. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. You're yeah, right. it's disrespecting the flag. Oh, but we can't disrespect Buckethead. He's well, an American symbol. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, he was a Marine. So, very American. Yeah, uh, <laughs> America, no, the, where you can wear a bucket on your head and be respected as you are. <laughs> well, I mean, Bucket had a really Bucket had a really successful music career for a while. It was an True. underground legend. He was the most developed character in this film. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally thinking KFC guy, but yeah, I'm, yeah. Um, I'm between both. Going, uh, okay. I know. I know. You know what? I'll take both. I'll take both. Uh, KFC. But yeah, the 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 first Saw movie had you rooting for the uh, for the like victims. Yeah. But pretty much every Saw movie since then, after that, there may be a central character uh, of the victims that you're kind of trying to figure out what's going on with them. Mm-hmm. But more often than not, they turn out to like fail the test at the end and just fuck everything up. And not be worth it. So yeah, at least somebody survives it in the first one. <laughs> yeah, someone. Uh, yeah, it, it re- I don't remember specifically who survives in each one, but um, they they do have a fair number of survivors throughout the series. Mm. So there's a balance. But over over the course of like the rest of the films, the overall mystery of mm-hmm. Jigsaw is and and how he keeps on killing people even though he's dead 
and the discovery of the cult of people that's grown around him like that's really becomes the central theme of the films mm -hmm. so this one had an interesting thing where I mean I knew the lady was lying about something I knew yeah. there was a reason to not root for her I kind of suspected the guy like the, the autopsy guy was it uh, can, can we can we talk about the scene where early on she talks about how her husband rolls onto the baby. Oh, okay. And it cuts to it. It's just the overhead shot of the husband next to the baby. And then he starts to roll over, and then the camera pulls away, and you just hear a in the background echoey with reverb, and then it fades back in. I'm like, I laughed. I couldn't help. Ah, uh, it's probably... Ah, uh, dead babies. It's probably and the most entertained I've been by a baby murder since Human Centipede 2. Oh. There's a two. There's three. <laughs> There's it's a trilogy. The no, third one. Do not watch them. Oh, okay. The third one is somehow better, like not as bad and worse than the second one, at the same time. Aren't there like fried clitorises or something in the third one? No, uh, uh, dried <laughs> clitorises. They're a delicacy from Africa. Ah, of course. This is a thing that happens. Good for virility. <laughs> that's a good time to fade away. <laughs> no, it's uh, yeah, it's it's rule of three. <laughs> that 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 movie is designed to make you disgusted as much as possible at every turn. It just trolls you. Yeah. Um, it it's it's. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody, but I was thoroughly entertained all three times I saw it. So, uh, if you want the full analysis. Go watch the Man from Uncle review. That entire second. Is that half. where it is? Yeah, it's Man. Yes, from Uncle. I'm gonna go like, watch that again. Because we talked about like, oh, we have a this movie. Then it was like, uh, and then I don't remember how it came up. I, I don't know how up, either. Uh, I brought up Human Centipede, and then at one point you go like, you want to go through this? Because we can go through this right now. <laughs> yeah. A half hour later. <laughs> yeah. No, you invited me to make the spiel. I, I made did. the spiel. I did. This it's, is what he asked for. It's like whenever I bring a Batman versus Superman. <laughs> We're no, not, not whatever. You finally watched the ultimate cut, and I got to see your reaction of just not accepting it. It was great. I hated so, it. Yeah. It made me angry. So good. Uh, so good. <laughs> but anyway, we're not going to... I brought it up, but we're not going to go through that. I'm like thing. one of the six people on the planet who actually loves the Batman vs. Superman ultimate cut. Okay. <laughs> I did not see the theatrical cut, so I can't speak on it, but I can see how cutting half an hour of the movie would have made it terrible. So uh, Really, because I saw the added half hour. It was still terrible. <laughs> yeah, but, but you were... Baked deep into your 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 obstinance of like hating the movie. Plus, you'd been borderline forced to watch the film. So I still like I've been forced to watch movies before and I came out liking them, so that's not an excuse. Like I saw 22 Jump Street fully expecting to hate it. I actually really liked it. Yeah, so, it's a good movie. Yeah. Uh, uh, but well, anyway, that's when that's that's, that's, that's something we can discuss thing. off camera. That's, we should have watched like, it together and make our own. No! <laughs> Never again! In his face. No! That was three hours of my life. I'm not getting back. I'm not doing it again. <sighs> Worth it. <laughs> that's uh, like saying, you know, we need to rewatch Yoga Hosers. Let's do that again. Oh, God. <laughs> the film that broke me. <laughs> that's the film that broke you? I'll watch the review for that one. Did it beat That's My Boy? Almost. It's up there. It's up there with that's my boy. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. I'm checking that out. Because <laughs> I want to, like, I don't think I spoke for the first minute of that review, and it's just me going, <laughs> Are you alone? I'm just by myself. Oh, and it's me bastard. making angry sounds at the camera for like a straight minute before I even like muster up the courage to say something. And note that I'm also keeping up the tradition of having a drink available when, when we're doing our reviews. I think you're so. just like so entranced <laughs> by the I show happening right now. Uh, let's see. Amazed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Jigsaw, what else? What else is there to talk about? I can't either? really think of anything. I mean, like, I mean, I guess we can talk about the demigorgon at the end. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> yeah, no, the final death is amazingly yeah. stupid. And like, it just like that was the one that was like full CGI, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, yeah, that was. <laughs> but at the same time, Wait, you want to see a real head like turn into? A hey, if we can head? have melting heads in Indiana Jones, why can't we have a ballooning? You head? know what? I'm or, disappointed. Or like a flowering. Head. I'm disappointed that it was so <laughs> floppy. Like, I was expecting something more like one of those chocolate oranges. You know, you smack it against uh, the wall. And, you know? <laughs> but, um, That'd be great. But yeah, yeah no, it was just like... so beautiful. <laughs> it looked like, it looked like a, a, a pretty flower that was vomiting blood. That looks like something Freddy Krueger would do, like in the yeah. later movies. It, it was, no, I'm fine with power. It was a, 
<laughs> Did, are you just having Freddy Krueger advertise for Nintendo's Power Glove? Yes, I just. That's an old. You ever seen that? Oh my god! <laughs> I, wait, that's a thing. That was in one of the movies. Which one? I don't know which one. I know it's a clip on there. Where he's, and it's, it's before you like to cute somebody, isn't it? I'm probably. Yeah. It's one of the later films where he's actually playing with the power glove and he kills somebody by yep. saying, I'm "Now right. I'm playing with power." Oh my god! <laughs> this fucking happens and it's no. great. Which it, one? I don't look it up. Because I've seen like all of them. I, I don't know, remember that. It's just one of the later films when there's. I think I blacked out everything it, after three. <laughs> oh, it, it could have been like. <laughs> I got that thing. <laughs> I didn't want uh, Oh, bitch. Rick and Marty. Oh, uh, bitch. <laughs> Time for your close up, bitch. <laughs> Leave for class, bitch. It's when, it's, there's one where he's in a mental hospital for kids and, uh, it like, uh, or teenagers. And like one of them, he he she falls asleep in front of the TV, and the dream is that he's the television, like his head's on top and his arms are on the sides, <laughs> and she comes close to it, and he grabs her head and says, "Time for your close-up, bitch," or some <laughs> shit like that, and smashes her head into the TV, and she gets electric. It's the dumbest shit. I remember the one. I, I think I'll say like the first full-length Freddy Krueger movie the I saw. First? No, no, no. Hold on. No, no, no. It was. It was the. the it was. I don't remember the name of it. I think oh, it was seven. Oh, it wasn't seven. the first one. It was not the first one. Oh god! I saw it on TV. I think it was seven, uh, because it was the one it's where like, like TV. It was. It was on like one of the TV channels. So it wasn't like edited for TV. It was a full thing. Oh it, okay. It was still really dumb though, because it was yeah. one where like the woman's unborn fetus was where Freddy Krueger was like building his power, because the fetus was technically asleep. So therefore, <laughs> so therefore he could use that to jump into everyone else's dream that way. And there was one part, like, one of them was a comic book geek, so he imagined himself as, like, a superhero and fights back. That, but then Freddy Krueger comes back no, as, like, a tougher no, Terminator no, character. No, That violates canon. It exists. It violates canon. I can't, I can't help you there. No, that definitely goes against canon. Because the whole point of Freddy Krueger is that he can't get into your head unless you know who he is or you hear about him. That's why none of the adults talk about him, because if they stop the kids no, no, from no, hearing but his it, name... It was the unborn fetus of one of Freddy Krueger's survivors. Yes. Why do I want to slap you? Because <laughs> I'm doing that real smugness. I know it's gonna piss you off. Oh god, I hate you. Uh, but, <laughs> no, you okay. don't. Okay, no, no doubt. Um, god. Anyway, uh, so how did we get here? Um, <laughs> we were talking about uh, the Demi Gorgon. Yeah. And Demi Gorgon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. His head gets like chopped into laser cut. Which I feel like is like With the precision. one plot hole in the movie is the fact that who else could get that many laser cutters? Yeah, that was... <laughs> that was... And uh, was anyone else thinking, I don't know if it was just me, but anyone else thinking like, No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die! No. <laughs> like, that's what's going through I wasn't, but I, I, I get it. Um, it was... <laughs> I was thinking that my dad could probably build those since he does work with lasers. That's, that's right. That's right. I was like, my dad could build this. No. <laughs> this makes me really concerned about your dinner invitation. <laughs> Can you imagine as it's going down? It's like, oh fuck, wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. I switched the collars, damn. Uh, let's see. I mean. Yeah, what else is there to say? Not a whole lot. Not a whole uh, lot. I think we've covered the main talking points. Oh, you said something? No, it's 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 superficial. <laughs> Go for it. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, did did um did did the oh, god damn it the guy fuck I forgot his name Buckethead. No, the <laughs> jigsaw guy. Did oh. he have a soul patch back in the past movies? Did he have a soul? He patch? He had like a little. You did so have a little salt patch in this in movie. This one, so I wasn't sure. I mean, you could have just shaved it. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter because this took know, place before all the other ones. Yeah. So maybe he just shaved it when he got cancer. I know. I was just thinking it was does that include the first one? Because I feel like yes. he took some step down from the first no. one. To, like the first no, one. No, because he built the trap from the first one with the dude from this one. Remember? Okay, but isn't the first one just the two guys in the bathroom for the most of it? Yes. So I feel like, how do you go from giant meat grinder blender to two guys and a hacksaw? <laughs> Feels like there were some budget cuts. The the simplicity of pitting them to get against each other. Was there any other ones in any of the movies that was that simplistic? Um. Hmm. Uh, 
To be fair, there are a lot. <laughs> so, I mean, some of the ones in the second one were pretty simplistic. Yeah, but um, it's, I just feel like if we're going to be nitpicky In the about fifth this. one, there was the, like, the crushing wall. That's pretty straightforward. Chewy, hold <laughs> on. Uh, Easy, Chewy. I don't know. I forget, the, I forget the quote from that scene. But... <laughs> <laughs> little eye pops out of the wall. <laughs> what was it? The, 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 I saw I saw a Facebook thread. It's like, what quote from Star Wars is best? To, like, is is the best out of context like sexual quote? <laughs> then I was like, I don't care what you smell. Get in there. <laughs> <laughs> or that's no moon. <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of small to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, let's see. Bring me the Wookiee. <laughs> oh, that could go for a while. But, um... You scruffy little nerf herder. Maybe he was just... Maybe doing that trap made him realize... I am your father! <laughs> That's when things got really weird. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Call me Darth Daddy. What? <laughs> you are strong, but you are not Jedi yet. <laughs> you can make a whole game out of this. Use the Force, Luke. <laughs> Let the Wookiee win. <laughs> oh, God. Um. He, he doesn't like you. I don't like you either. <laughs> Jump to hyperstrike. You got any uh, add <laughs> What, that piece of junk? <laughs> so, trailers? <laughs> You'll never find a more wretched time <laughs> of scum and villainy. <laughs> I hate sand. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try it, Anakin. Wait, wait. I have the high ground. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Yippee! That's so wizard. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay. How are you doing there? <laughs> oh. I'm okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I'm enjoying watching you guys just... Okay. So, so crazy. Trailers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the trailers were. Oh God, the Winchester movie. Uh, it looks yeah, so bad. Uh, Den of Thieves, which I've seen that trailer before. I don't remember. Which that, trailer that I was. think that was when you walked in on. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then there was Insidious Four. Surprisingly, not shitty looking. I don't know. The movies have been kind of weirdly great. Uh, that's what I've heard, so I do want to check them out. And I haven't seen like, any of them. The second so. one was hilarious. <laughs> Direct from the creator of Saw. Uh, also, like, meh, well, not, not nearly as gory, more like on the super campy side. Yeah. Uh, very much in the opposite direction. What? Uh, mostly, like, they're just shots of, like, Night Owl from Watchmen, just leering, because he's possessed by a ghost. And in case you can't figure it out, there's a whole shot of him just walking, they're like... Hey, honey. I'm home. <laughs> but you, he, it's not revealed that he's the ghost yet, so it's just him being a creepy dad. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'm great. still gonna watch him, so don't spoil anything. All right, I won't. It's, but they're um, great. They're fine. Um, let's let's not forget James Wan. I like James Wan. <laughs> he he like so much respect to that guy as a filmmaker, because mm. even though I can't say he directs great movies. He went from making an indie film out of college for a really tight on a really tight budget, which was Saw, the original Saw, sold the franchise, which went on to become a multi-million like hundreds of millions of dollars hit over the course of years. Mm. And over the years worked his way up from that to direct Fast 7. Fast 7 was pretty great, which <laughs> is one of the top grossing films of all time. Didn't he also direct a third uh, Star Trek movie? Yes, which is actually honestly, Pretty sure he did. honestly my favorite of the three. <laughs> he's like he's done really well for himself over the past mm -hmm. like fifteen years or so. Mm -hmm. It's the yeah. new Star Trek movies. I should point out, not the old ones. Um, yeah, uh, the, but yeah, no, like a lot of respect for that dude as the creator of the Saw franchise all the way up to this. Like, yeah. You have any thoughts on Insidious Four? Was that the one with the, the key fingers? Key fingers? Yeah. I had. Just an inside joke going in my head for that one when I saw that. <laughs> you can tell me later. Uh, <laughs> then we got a. Uh, oh, no, no. 
<laughs> it's one of those. All right. Uh, there you got Roman J. Israel Esquire. That was surprisingly cool looking. I've got that trailer a few times. That's the Denzel Washington film. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen that trailer yet, and it looked pretty goofy to start with. Yeah. And then you see it getting more serious, and then it's like from the writer and director of Nightcrawler, and you're like, whoa. And Nightcrawler, then, have you seen Nightcrawler? That one's pretty good. That's, yeah, that, that one's pretty cool. Supremely creepy. Yeah, that one's like Jake Jollethall just being a fucking sociopath. Yeah, he's, it's terrifying, in a yeah. way. Um, but yeah, I, I that looks really good to me. Uh, then we got Maze Runner. Which, oh yeah, that movie's a thing. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, first off, I didn't know that was still going. Second off, what the hell happened? Uh, do you want to no, know? Because I have actually seen all the other you know movies. What? I'm actually down to watch the rest of them, because it doesn't look terrible. Are I know, terrible? like, I... They're pretty, they're pretty bad. How, uh, like, scale of, like... Not Twilight bad, um, but I put it below that one with the girl from... Oh, fuck, what... The one that was Mary Jane, that was gonna be Mary Jane, Amazing Spider-Man 2... Before they cut her out. That is, I do not follow shit closely enough to know I have any idea who you're talking about. Uh, uh fuck, what was it called? Start with a D. Uh, Divergent. Divergent, thank you. Uh, the, oh, yeah, no, I didn't see that. I know, like, okay, to put it bluntly, this, like, this is the twist in the first movie, this goes downhill from here. Uh, the twist in the first movie is like, oh, why are they, all these kids in this maze? Why do they have amnesia? Oh, because apparently a zombie virus killed the world, and the best, and the, the best way to find a cure was maze. I'm not making that up. I was like, we need to find a cure. Put these kids in a maze of giant monsters. I'll totally able to find a cure. <laughs> it's like, have none of you heard of a blood test? Science just stopped working. <laughs> we and, decided to just have little trials for our remaining survivors. And then, not like we'll need them to help, you know, rebuild society. And then the second movie was uh, Littlefinger going scorch over and over again. You will never survive in the scorch. Because everyone has to start with the word thus. Sorry. It, that's how intensely he said it in the movie. Spit just projectiled over all the actors, I'm convinced. Uh, but that, one actually, that one was better, but it still was pretty dumb. This one was like, I've completely forgot about this until I saw the third one and uh, the trailer for this. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, now I have to see it because I've seen the other two. <laughs> you can give the proper view on it. I'll call Cody, see if I can get her back. She's hey, maybe, person maybe, with me. It'll, maybe it'll be like Twilight where the third one is actually somewhat decent somehow. I heard the four, like the last one is hilarious. <laughs> oh, no. The Breaking Dawn pair of movies is just Insanity. unbelievable, terrible awesomeness. Um, <laughs> It like not just from the fact that they're poorly written mm. and poorly conceptualized and based on shit writing, mm. like it's really badly directed too. Oh yeah, like it's <laughs> it's just like Twilight Eclipse is actually a pretty good movie for what it is. Oh yeah, <laughs> because it's directed by David Slade. Yeah, who directed it like didn't Thirty he? Days of Night. Yeah, and the fucking Hannibal TV show he it's created amazing. that like. He's a good director, legit, straight up good director, and he's given the shit material. <laughs> well, he was given shit material, but it's amazing because if you've seen the first two movies, somehow have you seen all the Twilight movies? I've seen the first three, and then bits of the fourth <laughs> and fifth ones. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I lost a little respect for you right there. <laughs> I promised my little sister I would watch the first. Okay, one with you her. have an excuse. All right, <laughs> and then the second one, like we neither of us had motivation to see, and like. The, the 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 women in our family kept on being like, oh, it's so romantic. And then me and my sister watched it. My sister, being a fan of the books, thought it was garbage, okay? <laughs> Which was terrible because you can tell there's the core, like, there's elements of what could have been a better movie in there, mm -hmm. but it's just really flatly and terribly executed. Mm -hmm. And then the third one is directed by an actual good director. So it's like he actually did takes until the actors gave mm -hmm. good performances that satisfied him and actually knew what effective cinematography was mm -hmm. and knew how to make it look like they were running fast without making them look like Speedy Gonzales. <laughs> and uh, played up the... <laughs> the... He played up like the actual rapport and relationships between the characters to the point where it was decent. And the battle sequences are dope. Like seriously, the vampire on werewolf battle sequences are actually pretty fucking cool. So yeah, I will, I will forever stand by that really bizarre opinion 
and I, I, it's so weird to me to be defending a Twilight movie, but really, I'm a little surprised too, to be honest. This, if not, you, this is not the turn I thought this night was going to take. If you yeah, watch, how did we get to Saw to Twilight? If this you, happens a lot. If you <laughs> pushed through the first two Twilight movies for some ungodly reason, you owe it to yourself to see the third one. Because well, why the fuck not? That's like saying, oh, you watch That's My Boy and Jack and Jill. Might as well see the new Adam Sandler movie. No, no. It's more like... Well, I've already seen episode one and two. Might as well see episode three. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, like, out of the original prequels, the third one was the most entertaining. Yeah. I don't know, man. Just saying. It's totally it's, wizard. It is a... Sh like, it is a shockingly decent film. It is a shockingly non... Oh, difficult to watch. For here's it. a new one. Now that's that's pod racing. <laughs> that's that's stretching it. Hey, you can make anything. <laughs> that's another one. Anyway. Uh. <laughs> anyway, we need to charge our bank's card. <laughs> no, that's what I was waiting for. That's why I was like, God, don't go. She's like a step there, too no. far. <laughs> I was saving well, everybody. <laughs> I, I still remember. There's something I read about like. You know how after episode one came out and everyone was so sad <laughs> and it was really funny uh, and people for years in magazines for nerds were just writing jokes about it. Mm -hmm. I still remember one that described Jar Jar Binks <laughs> as a half poorly conceived attempt at a mascot and half anti-Jamaican slur. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow. Damn. Yeah, well, I mean, if you watch episode one now, no, it's pretty oh, yeah. racist. Yeah. It's really yeah. fucking racist. So Disaster Artist was the next trailer. That looks great. I'm uh, not going to lie. That looks... I, I'm not like... I honestly... No. If, if you enjoyed The Room and Tommy Wiseau as a character, then... But I don't like James Franco. Mm. That's really... Why not? I, I just... I don't like his... I just... Ooh. What? Uh, it's like I just don't like his comedic acting. I don't think it's funny. It just and it's not my style of humor to be fair. Because like to be fair, like the first comedic one I saw him in was the interview, and he fucking sucked in that movie. And every other one, it's more like obvious wink and nods to the camera. Like I'm telling a joke right now. Wink. You get it? That was a joke. My Seth Rogen's there. He's also telling a joke. I I kind of hate the most popular Seth Rogen and James Franco movies. Yeah. Like, I don't like This Is The End. Nope. I don't like, um... Pineapple Express is okay. I didn't see that. Uh, the Interview, no thank you. Uh, like, they just... There's a certain brand of cruelty to their comedy that... Like, Sausage Party was fucking awful. I hate um, that one, too. <laughs> God, it was bad. Um... Like, I only started to somewhat enjoy myself and not be like, make it stop, like, for the f last 20 minutes or so. Um, of Sausage Party? Yeah. I, I saw it with McRae, I saw his soul die in two moments. One when the orgy happened, and I looked over at him, and he says, <laughs> <laughs> that face. And then when it turns out, when he realized that uh, the guy who played the bagel... It was Edward Norton? Edward Norton. Yeah. When they made that revelation, I saw that realization hit him like a brick wall. And just Do you like, realize it's like the first movie Edward Norton's done in like years? Yeah, I know. Hasn't hasn't done and that's, anything. that's you're like, it is? Oh, God. <laughs> um, fun fact. Edward Norton was apparently the one who pushed to have that character in the movie. Of course he was. Which makes me wonder. But, he did play a Nazi in another film, so. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's always shit coming out about celebrities these days. I'm not necessarily surprised that one came out next. Yeah, I don't know. Um, um, let's move on. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is just getting depressing. Uh, so, yeah, that was disaster. Then we got The Commuter. It's Neeson season, bitch. <laughs> Terrible name for a film. <laughs> it's Neeson season. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's. We've already had Neeson on a plane. We've already had Neeson in the snow. Which is uh, honestly an underrated movie, in my opinion. Yeah. We've uh, already had Neeson in Europe. Liam Neeson takes Europe At multiple um, times. <laughs> multiple times. <laughs> Still the best movie review I've ever ever read. <laughs> Taken three makes Taken two look like Taken. <laughs> I remember that one. Best review ever. <laughs> Taken three sucks. <so. laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've done all the different Neesons, and now we can have uh, Neeson, Neeson on, on a train. train. <laughs> so yay! It's just Liam Neeson in another environment that he's trapped in somehow, and he's got to fight his way out. Next one will be Neeson in a box. <laughs> No, I would not like Neeson on a box. I would not like Neeson on a train. I would not like Neeson anywhere. 
<laughs> Neeson in a car. <laughs> it's just a really terrible road trip. Oh, somebody should do that. Someone should rewrite like a cat in a hat and just replace it with like Liam Neeson. <laughs> Would you like him on a train? Would you like him on a plane? Would you like him on a hat? Would you like him on a cat? I would not like him on a train. I would not like him on a plane. <laughs> Has Neeson been in a movie like about a boat? Like a Captain Phillips style <laughs> thing? Some oh. Which one's that? No, no, I'm, I'm just... Well, just saying maybe, maybe like a submarine. Oh. He could very well have been a submarine. No, I get <laughs> Just remake The Hunt for the Red October with Liam Neeson. If, if we're counting Les Mis, he's also been Neeson on a cart. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> As I, have, have you two ever seen the Neeson season, the musical? No. Oh. Oh my god, it's amazing. I show this to Howard. Neeson? Has, it's called Neeson Season, and it's amazing. <laughs> Where just all his movies played out to musicals, so he's like, it's Neeson Season. Oh god. <laughs> like, I think one of them is like, your daughter has been taken, and you need to track her down. It's Neeson Season. And you have like, a, there's a choir in the background going, Neeson Season. <laughs> And my favorite line is, your wife becomes a lesbian because you're never there. It's Neeson season. <laughs> That's a real one. As Julianne Moore and Amanda Siegfried. <laughs> what? Yeah, that movie exists. Wait, what? Yeah. That's the plot line of the movie. Wait, no, are you talking about Chloe? It might have been Chloe. Liam Neeson's in Chloe? I just know it has Julianne Moore having the hots for Amanda Siegfried because Amanda Siegfried, yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's that's Chloe, but it's, I don't think Liam Neeson's in it. He's in it, or like a, a movie similar to it, starring the same people. Yeah, look at did up. they Nicolas Cage it? Where like, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there is that thing where Nicolas Cage made a movie about rescuing his daughter, and then the next year makes a movie about rescuing his daughter. Like well, that, that was I need a paycheck, <laughs> Nicholas Cage at the time. One it still is, but well, I mean, one of those movies was called Stolen, and I forget what the other one was. But there was a point where I discovered that there are like ten Jack, not Jack Nicholson, uh, like ten Nicholas Cage movies on Netflix. So I made it my mission to watch all of them over the course of a week. And That's my, cool. Though. It was uh, <laughs> Nicholas Cage. I, it's amazing. It was pretty great. He is the one true god. Uh, like him and Michael Shannon. <laughs> Oh, Michael Shannon is a treasure. Thank you! Thank you, yes! Yes. <laughs> he was easily, by leaps and bounds, the best part of Man of Steel. I want to hug you right now. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh. Because you've been giving me so... Okay, you can stop that now. <laughs> My... <laughs> Okay. We that gotta keep good. the meme going. It's, it's terrible. As my girlfriend's in the back seat. <laughs> what? I mean, I guess there's room for three. She doesn't know about us? <laughs> Whoa. What? Well, hey. Mike! <laughs> Take me close. <laughs> <laughs> Why did she turn into a pirate in that? <laughs> it's an inside joke. Oh, <laughs> all right. Sorry. Uh, Fine. <laughs> and then the last trailer we got was Winchester. <laughs> uh, <and> my, uh, <laughs> See, now all the explanations going through my head are terrible. <laughs> anyway, keep going. I'll explain later. <laughs> Not on camera. <laughs> Not on camera. Okay, go on. <laughs> I don't care, but okay. <laughs> okay, so it, we got on the topic of a sp like SpongeBob porn fan fiction one time, and we got the parent like, what would happen if SpongeBob <laughs> and Mr. Krabs got into and, like <laughs> had the sex? Narrator. And, <laughs> the narrator. No, no, actually, it wasn't ever Mr. Krabs. The narrator <laughs> would be good too. Yeah. So we're like, what would Mr. Krabs say? Be like, take me close, SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's great. That's great. I don't. <laughs> There's, I, I think this benefits from that. <laughs> that is great. <laughs> One of our many monologues. So yeah, Winchester. Uh, that looks like another horror movie. <laughs> God. Uh, I actually recently found out about the actual history of the house, mm. which is really like, it, it makes the, the story they've put over it really gross. Uh, in yeah. that uh, during like the Depression era, mm -hmm. uh, her... It was something along the lines of her husband passed away, mm -hmm. and he had the whole fortune, mm -hmm. and she uh, was basically, she basically had access to it and used it to keep the workers working, because otherwise they wouldn't have anywhere to go, because it was the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. So she just kept using the money to keep these people being paid and just kept having them build things oh. that didn't get finished mm. so that the house would be in a constant state of, of being built. 
Thank she you. wasn't crazy. It wasn't about ghosts. She was trying to save poor people from a company that wanted to take her money away. Mm. Like, and they've turned it into her being this crazy old woman in a haunted house. And it's really just, and they've made this movie now, which just looks atrocious. Yeah, one of my, um, actually one of my relatives was saved by her by doing that. No shit. Yeah, she, uh, my, um, one of my relatives worked on the ballroom floor. Wow. Yeah, the installation for that. That's really cool. Mm -hmm. See? Verified. All right. Yeah. I said that would be a too. way more interesting story. <laughs> <She's a bitch laughs> too. The relative? Guaranteed. No, no. Uh, uh, Winchester? Winchester was a bitch. Oh. To younger children. Oh. Yeah. Because, well, they did kind of tease her, but then she was kind of a bitch still. I don't know. Well, There's she a did. lot of accounts of her being weird and being... Well, she did spend, like, all of her money keeping a bunch of people yeah. working, so yeah. we got to at least give her that credit. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but that sounds cool. like a way more interesting story than what we're getting. Yeah, here. that would be a really interesting drama, don't you think? Yeah, but, but no, we got to make it uh, the haunting. And you tell me it would be great in that movie. <laughs> but yeah, no. no, she would give it all kinds of good gravity. And I'd be like, like I'd be yeah. the Oscar nominee. Like, no, no, yeah, dude, been. this needs ghosts. Yeah, it needs ghosts just... and goblins and shit. Yeah, <laughs> but of course, that I would assume that whoever is in charge of like you know licensing the Winchester Mystery House property. Yeah. would try to embellish the oh, yeah. mythology yeah. of the house to get more people there oh, yeah. for the flashlight tours because it's Actually, creepy I'm, and it sells tickets. There, I'm curious about um, how much money they're gonna how much money they're gonna see in the revenue after yeah. this movie. It's yeah. interesting. Not to mention, you know, the the people who are gonna be like, oh this is a real place. We should check yeah. it out. We saw the movie. And like, yeah, no, that's definitely gonna be a good source of money for them for a while, but it's yeah. I don't know, it's it just feels disrespectful. Bit. Yeah. Like, honestly, like, when I first heard, I didn't even know the Winchester thing was, like, a haunted house for the longest time. I thought it was, like, oh, they got the bar from, like, Shaun of the Dead in, the, in California? That's kind of <laughs> weird, but I kind of want to check that out. Hey, this looks nothing like the bar from Shaun of the Dead. I feel cheated. I, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. But, yeah, so that was the last trailer. So you guys got any final thoughts for Jigsaw? Still miss Buckethead. No, no, blood. Buckethead. Buckethead yeah. forever. <laughs> No, I guess that's it then. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say about this movie. Except Buckethead. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Alright, so I think right, cool. later this week I got to see Murder in the Orient Express tomorrow. Mm. Uh, and then I got to see Daddy's Home too. I'm going to probably get Wes in for that one. Oh, I'd be down for that. Uh, if you're available later, I got to find out what Wes's schedule is because he was one, like he saw the first one apparently. Uh, I saw the first one with you. No, actually he saw that one by himself because I didn't even review Daddy, Daddy's Home 1. Back you didn't review it? It was around Christmas, there was someone coming out, it's one that fell through the cracks. You and I reviewed it together. Uh, you must be... You, the Will Ferrell, Mark Wahlberg movie. Yes. I saw it in theaters, and there's no way I went to see that on my own. I'm positive I didn't see it, but I, I am I going insane? Oh, no, you know what? No, I saw it with another friend, you're right. Okay, I was gonna say, I swear I haven't seen that movie! No, I just Did remember I'm talking about it a lot. Was it that I was like, forgettable? <laughs> no, yeah, you're right, I didn't I didn't see it with you, that's my bad. Okay. But, um, no, I, I found, there were a couple of surprisingly decent laughs in that movie. I heard the, the second one's really bad, oh. uh, like really mean-spirited, so we'll see. Oh, great, okay. Well, we'll um, so yeah, that's it for that. Well, so. it's got Mel Gibson and, and John Lithgow, so that'll be... And John Cena. And John Cena, that's right. John Cena's there. You don't see him, but he's there. I'm bringing that joke into the ground. <laughs> see... Nah... Good night. <laughs> <laughs>